святая с открытой душою, Приезжайте до нас в Беларусь, Приезжайте, приезжайте, Приезжайте до нас в Беларусь, Приезжайте, приезжайте, Приезжайте до нас в Беларусь. Поезжайте, браты дорогие, Поглядеть на блокиты озер, На великие пущи лесные И полет неосняжный простор. Приезжайте, приезжайте, Приезжайте до нас в Беларусь. Приезжайте, приезжайте, Приезжайте до нас в Беларусь. Here. I would like to start by telling you about some historical events and factors that, in my view, define Belarus as a people and Belarus as a country. The national character of Belarusians has been influenced by the geographic position of our country. We are situated right between Russia and Poland, Ukraine and Lithuania, and there is also a piece of state border with Latvia. In broader geopolitical terms, we are in between Russia, being a Eurasian country, and the European Union. In ancient times, we found ourselves on the crossroads of very active trade and cultural exchanges, migration flows, but also many war campaigns. Throughout our history, we used to be part of several different countries, from princes of Kiev and the great Duchy of Lithuania, to Poland and the Russian Empire, and finally the Soviet Union. At some brief historical moment, technically, we, will, we even were in one state with Sweden. <laughs> so when I pass by IKEA, it's not completely <laughs> foreign. <laughs> and I'm not talking about absolute. You know. <laughs> Being in the center of many roads, exchanges, and events, at times dangerous and tragic, like wars that happened pretty often in Europe. We had to learn different cultures, traditions, and habits. Learn to coexist peacefully with people of other ethnic origins and also try to be at peace with our neighbors. Unfortunately, this was not always the case. To understand Belarus, even nowadays, one should always remember the history of the World War II the most tragic part of history of the world and of my country. Belarus has lost more than one third of its population, 36% of its pre-war population. The majority of them died in action, actively and fearlessly resisting the Nazis. As Yale University history professor Timothy Snyder wrote, Belarus was more lethally touched by the war than any other place on earth. What would such a great loss mean for any country of the world, not only in numbers, but in consequences? It would not only live in the memories, but it would also be stay in the DNA of all of the people for generations. And it is so for Belarus. We fought together with other peoples of the Soviet Union in that war and with the United States and other allies, and together we won in this war. This was a great victory, maybe the greatest in the history of the mankind. I am especially proud about the fact that more than 700 Belarusians have been awarded the title of the writers among the nations by the State of Israel. These are people who risked their lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. Belarus has the highest number of the writers among the nations per capita in the world. I'm also proud of the fact that during the Second World War, during the Nazi occupation of Belarus, Jews were active participants of the guerrilla movement in Belarus and had their own guerrilla groups and fought the Nazis. The important thing is that no guerrilla movement is possible without the support of the local population. And I believe that this spirit of brotherhood and mutual aid lives on. Many prominent Americans have Belarusian roots. Steve Ballmer of the Microsoft, Ralph Lauren, Larry King, General Wesley Clark, 
Nobel Prize winners Simon Kuznets, Sheldon Lee Glashow, Alan Heger, Douglas Osher. <laughs> Я выпил великом, я забыл Бога, 